We'll be reporting numbers today. Nigel, expectations? Well, uh, Rima, you know, it's the best performing uh, base metal stock. If you just take a look at it, it's up close to around 80% uh, from the lows that we saw earlier this year. Now, the numbers, they look pretty subdued if you take a look at it on a year in year basis. So revenues will be down. We'll see profitability as well will be down. Margins as well should come in at roughly around 50% or uh, thereabouts. And profitability will take a hit. So short point being on a year to year basis, yes, the numbers will uh, appear rather weak. Though on a sequential basis, we should see a bit of an improvement. Now, realizations will be high, obviously, because we've seen zinc has really outperformed uh, all base metals. So realizations will be higher, but as has already been factored in, that volumes of zinc will be lower. Let's take you through first uh, the realizations part of things. Zinc has, in fact, uh, bounced up by close to around 45% in this year itself. And we take a look at it on a year-on-year -year basis, it's up by more than 20%. Why will volumes be down? Because Hindustan Zinc had told us, yes, they're doing some mining plan at the Rampura Ogucha mine. Remember, that's their biggest mine. So they're moving now there to from uh, open cast mining to underground mining. That's what they told us in the last one year as well. So on the back of that, volumes will be lower. Also, higher waste excavation. That's going to be another reason why, in fact, we could see uh, volumes uh, come in lower on a year-in-year basis. But it will improve on a sequential basis, as the management has already told us. So zinc volumes on a year-in-year -year basis will be down by 30%. On a sequential basis, it will be up by close to around 15%. Similar is the case with regard to lead as well as uh, with regard to uh, silver. Uh, the EBITDA as well uh, will come in lower because of lower vo volumes, obviously, you'll see that in fact uh, the absolute EBITDA will come in lower. When you're calculating the EBITDA, please watch out for deferred mining uh, expenses. That's a provisional item that's uh, been mentioned. In the first quarter, there was a credit. The management told us that watch out for some kind of credit even in the second quarter. So keep your eye out on that number as well, Rima. 250 rupees stock, 55 rupees of cash and cash equivalents. Um, not yeah. extremely uh, overvalued, but uh, it has had a good run. And also zinc has been the big outperformer.